Hi, students. Um, this video is um, a chance for me to say a little bit more about how to break up the different parts of your poem um, so that you can write about them in different sections of your essay one, your explication. Um, so as we've talked about, and as I've mentioned in other videos, in a poetry explication, your job is to say how the poem, what effect the poem has, um, what it conveys to us, and then to support um, that claim, uh, the effect of the poem, um, by using details and examples from the poem. And a big thing we do in a poetry explication is we think about how the different parts of the poem contribute to the whole overall effect. So it's really important in your poetry explication um, that you go piece by piece through the poem and explain how each piece of the poem contributes something different to make the whole poem work. Um, so in those winter Sundays, which is just a three stanza poem, that's a little easy. I mean, it's pretty straightforward in the sense that the first stanza is about the dad, the second stanza is about the boy, the third stanza is sort of about the culmination of all this regret. So it's kind of easy to see the differences between the different pieces and to hopefully to write about them. In something like midterm break, which is many short stanzas, what you need to do to write a poetry explication is you need to decide how you're going to break up the poem into different pieces to write about the overall effect. So for example, if I was writing about midterm break in an explication, I might write um, about the first three stanzas, maybe the first 10 or 12 lines, because those, um, those maybe the, yeah, maybe around the first 10 lines, they're about this, you know, effect that part of the poem seems to be about, you know, uh, it's conveyed to us that something terrible has happened. And so it raises these questions in our minds. There's been some kind of upset, some kind of tragedy, and line by line, it gets more serious. The father's crying. Um, big Jim Evans is saying it's a hard blow. And all we know about Big Jim Evans is he's big. So if he's saying it was a hard blow, it's a big, it's a big one. Um, or maybe you would just write about those first two stanzas. Those are really the first two stanzas where we get this hint. There's been some kind of tragedy. It must be a funeral. Um, so you might write a supporting section about those two stanzas. And then we get this glimpse of the baby and the mother. Um, and you kind of get the sense that this is a, an older boy, right? Though we sort of know that because he's at school. It says college um, in the beginning of the, po the poem, but college in Ireland where Seamus Heaney is from is more like high school, like he was at a boarding school. Um, so we get a picture of the baby. So you might say, you know, we get in the in the next section, we get a picture of the baby and the mom. And and then it might be good to group these last stanzas about the corpse together um, because they're different from the earlier um, uh, lines, right? Before we just have this mysterious tragedy, we don't know much about it. Then we have this baby who, you know, is cooing like nothing's happened and this angry mom, that's different. And then we have this final section where we have a corpse, death arriving at this house. And at the end of that section, we get our question answered about who died, right? Um, so uh, this applies to oranges too in the sense that you might not know how to break up oranges because it's got that one really long stanza um, and then that little short stanza. If I were you, I sort of say this in the oranges video, I would probably write about the lines before the drugstore is one section, then the lines about the drugstore as a section and the lines about after the drugstore as a section. 
um, because those three parts each offers something different and that will help you kind of break down what's different about each of those sections. Um, so you get to choose how you break up your explication. You don't need like for midterm break, you don't need to write a paragraph about every stanza. Uh, you can write one section about two stanzas and another section about three stanzas, however it seems best to you. Um, that's your choice. The key is um, to think about how each part of the poem contributes to the overall effect. I hope that's helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.